Ja, hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück. Ich bin wieder euer Avenger und ja, wir sind immer noch bei The Walking Dead Season 2 Part 8. Sind wir jetzt? 8, ja, ganz genau. Wie schon gesagt, wir wurden von Carver ins Lager geschleppt, werden behandelt wie die größten Verbrecher. Und jetzt werde ich gerade von Bonnie Ivia, getrennt und werde wieder abgeholt. Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. Ich habe jetzt noch ein paar Einstellungen verändert. Come on. Es ruckelt zwar immer noch, aber nicht mehr ganz so krass. Mal gucken, vielleicht... Mir ist wichtig, die Qualität darf da drunter nicht leiden. Um Himmel, Herrgott willen. Das, also das sollte wohl nicht passieren. Und ich muss Stay ganz ehrlich sagen, die Qualität war bei Action auf jeden Fall besser. Don't touch anything. Ah, das hört sich doch nach Sarah an. Hey. Are you okay? I know it's it's gotta be hard. My dad's never hit me before. Oh my god. Even when I was really bad. <laughs> he never hit me. Troy would have been way worse. Your dad had to do it. Carver made him. Mm -hmm. So in a weird way. Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. Well, thanks for trying to help. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Hmm. Oh, and just so you know, Bill yelled at me this morning for what you were doing last night. I'm not mad, but please, please just listen to me today. I'm on, like... The thinnest ice with that guy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? So schwer ist es ja nicht. Hey, so, is she gonna be okay? Cause what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I'll take care of her. You don't have to worry. Good, good. Cause I'm awful at that stuff. Look, <laughs> Bill's had <laughs> it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. was awkward. I won't do that again. I'm gonna go work now. <lacht> das ist mir so peinlich. Naja, okay, ist in Ordnung. Ähm, ich frage mich, wie, wie kann er die Bären abschneiden und gleichzeitig auffangen? Das muss er ja alles mit einem Arm machen, irgendwie. Okay, wir machen es auch nicht anders, ja. Also entweder wir arbeiten jetzt einfach schneller, dass die Sarah, also das nicht auffällt, ähm Ja, oder wir helfen ja einfach. Hey. Here, watch me. This isn't that hard, Sarah. I know, I'm just afraid I'll make a mistake. It won't be the end of the world if you do. Just keep going. Oh shit. Oh no. You didn't do any of your work, Clem. <laughs> Just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. Reggie. Yeah, Bell. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? 
Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one arm... Shut up, so shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... It sounds just, like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. We'll get it done. Just give us some more time. We, it was my fault. I didn't show Sarah well enough. I guess. No, this ain't your fault. We talked about this, Reggie, didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. Oh my god, das kann ja wieder nur eins bedeuten, oder? Ich meine, das ist so ein Bastard, ohne Scheiß. Jetzt mal ganz ehrlich. Thanks for the help, girls. Ja. Der kriegt jetzt böse einen auf die Fresse, würde ich mal behaupten. What's wrong, Sarah? Ich glaube, die Sarah müsste jetzt so langsam mal begreifen, dass sie sich jetzt echt zusammenreißen muss. Are you okay? Scheiß, no, no, I gave no, you no, plenty no. of chances. Please, Bill. No! 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 Please! Ah! Weakness. Incompetence. It puts us all at risk. And it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! Okay, oh, ich habe nur voll freigeschaltet. So, <lacht> the long way down. Um, ja, ja. Real simple, just take this over to him. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia is talking about. What's wrong? Clem? You all right? Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe Maybe it was just an accident. Ein Unfall, natürlich, klar. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Hey, Troy! Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. Okay. Hey! That ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. Ich darf hier gar nicht so viel machen, stelle ich gerade fest. Aber da könnte was passieren. Das sieht ganz schön wackelig aus. I ain't nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me, You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Yeah, this is a real help. Why don't you just worry about yourself? Reggie's dead. Carver killed him. What? You sure? Who did you... Muss ich jetzt auch was tun? <lacht> ja genau, nimm die Dachlatte, das wird schon gehen. Bam. Bam. Ähm, okay, das hat sehr viel gebracht. Oh mein fucking Gott. Äh, okay, nice. Cool, ich wusste gerade überhaupt nicht, was ich machen muss. Ich habe irgendeinen Punkt gesucht. Okay, wow, das ist, ähm, ja, doch, das ist, ist so jetzt noch nicht passiert. Ja, doch, im ersten Teil schon. Hm? Ich, ich bin da auch ein, zwei Mal, glaube ich, gestorben, wegen so einer Scheiße, weil man da nicht wusste, was man machen soll. Ja, Gott. 
Oh, let's get a shot. Naja, okay, ist egal. Ist egal. Dann gehen wir die Schatten, oder? Oh. Wie lange ich dieses Mal spiele, bis ich begriffen habe, was ich hier machen soll. Okay, ich muss da rein wohl. Ne? Rüber, 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 rüber. Was hätte ich? Ah, ich soll einfach nur weiterlaufen. Okay. What the fuck? Ich bin gelaufen, du Bastard. Was, was ist mit den Schnotten, Mann? Ich komme da drauf jetzt überhaupt nicht klar. Nee, ich komme da drauf jetzt gerade überhaupt nicht klar. Es kann doch echt nicht so schwer sein. Ich bin gelaufen die ganze Zeit. Ich habe tausendmal gedrückt. Es ist jetzt halt echt fragwürdig, weil man hat ja auch nichts gesehen oder so. Weißt du, das ist... Rumschauen, rumschauen, rumschauen. Wie immer. Ja, komm rüber. Das ist mal ja alles. Und jetzt laufen und ich gucke mich jetzt einfach mal dabei um, was hier denn so alles passiert. Da... Da ist nichts, was man machen kann. Da ist nichts, was man machen kann. Was man drücken kann, was man tun soll. Das... Boah, das... Nee, das riecht mich jetzt gerade tierisch auf, weil ich nicht weiß, was man da machen muss. Mehr wie laufen kann ich nicht. Ich, ich habe überall nachgeschaut, ob da irgendwo was ist, ob ich irgendwas übersehen habe, ob da irgendwas zum Drücken war, irgendein Kreis. Keine Ahnung. I don't know. Ähm... Nee. Sonst alles immer so schon leicht erklärt und jetzt auf einmal muss man laufen und irgendwie... Äh, ne? So, laufen, laufen, laufen. Immer schön laufen. Drücken. Nein, das will ich. Ich kann einfach nicht. schreitet jetzt echt nicht den Part oder so. Ich hatte aber schon mal bei South Park Stick of Truth. Ich wusste nicht, wie es geht. Ich wusste gar nicht, wie es geht. Siehst du? Ich, ich wollte doch einfach nur weiterlaufen und ich habe doch weiter gedrückt und es passiert trotzdem wieder. Ich... Alter. Was, das ist alles so viel Zeit, was es kostet. So elendig viel Zeit. Und das riecht mich so tierisch auf gerade. schon wieder halb eins. Ich, ich will eigentlich die Episode fertig spielen. Und dann kommt wieder so eine unlösbare Aufgabe, vor der ich, mich, vor der ich stehe und ich krieg's einfach nicht gebacken. Ja, hau zu. Und hau noch mal zu. Hättest du denn nicht irgendeine Knarre nehmen können oder einen Nagel oder irgendwas? Nee. Halte A und zu entkommen. Ach so, ich muss es halten. Ja, gut, dann geht's ja. Man sollte auch mal lesen. Ähm, okay, was, was soll ich tun? Was kann ich machen? Was kann ich tun? Was? Ach so, okay. Das war Glück. Oh Mann, man sollte doch einfach mal lesen, was da steht, ne? Fail über Fail. Ja. Oh, ich ging sogar hoch. Das hätte ich jetzt so nicht erwartet. Bam. Einfach das Bein weggeballert. Oh, ich bin übers Kabel gestolpert. Das war doch eigentlich eine ganz gute Idee. Nicht? Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. 
Oh, thank God, you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? Ich glaube, das ist der erste, der von Kenya auf die Straße kriegt. Und ich würde es so feiern, ich würde so derbe feiern. Ohne Witz. So ein Bastard, echt ohne Scheiß. Das kann es echt nicht sein. Oh, das sieht nach Luke aus. Das sieht nach Luke ah, aus. Ah, ja. stop! Ja. Hey, it's me! Luke! Yes! Man, get the hell out of me. Ja, was erwartet ihr denn? Come all this way. This is, this is the welcome I get. I'm glad to see you. I was worried. We all were. That was good to see you too, kid. All right, listen. We ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but it ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. Are you feeling okay? No. No, I mean, uh, yeah, yes, sorry. I just could use some sleep, you know. Hard to rest when you think a lurker's about to get the jump on you at any any moment. But yeah. <sighs> yeah. I'm fine. Okay, don't worry about me. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but... Well, we're in it now. It's what we got. We just... We just need a plan. You no know, way to get you and... And everyone. Luke! Oh, sorry. Sorry. Shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. We just gotta be smart, okay? We, we gotta plan. And that radio was crucial for that. Where do I get one? I think they keep them in the stock room. I ain't completely sure, though. Just keep your eyes out for the charging station. Now, they put most of them back on there at night. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Get out where I can see you. Go on. Get out of here. <clears throat> oh, man. Man. The hell oh, were man, you do? Oh, huh? Answer me. I was hiding from walkers. Don't go in there, you hear me? That is all fucking limits to you. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now. Okay. Bill will not see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dude, you better go up and see off. Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So you should probably go. 400 Tage, ihr erinnert euch? Also ich erinnere mich sehr, sehr gut an diesen Typen. Rebecca. She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. So an idiot. Du sitzt. Alvin. Oh Alvin. shit. He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. Why are you doing this? Me and him, we got history. Understand? A couple things we had to get worked out. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. 
Now. Das ist einfach nur ein verdammter Wichser. Der ist so you ein herzloser sure you Bastard. Make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Now you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will. And weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. You have to be able to contribute. I understand. I knew you were a smart girl. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I'm not like you. I know it when I see it. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared. But you looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to, but I ain't worried about that anymore. What if it's not yours? Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. Alright, now. Well, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of him. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on mm. back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Ein langer Tag. Okay. Wir haben uns echt schon wieder einen Tag geschafft. Und ich habe ewig lang aufgenommen wegen dieser einen Passage, ey. Ich könnte. Oh, ich könnte wie so. Oh, oh, so you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Kenny! Do not speak to me like that. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite mm -hmm. loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. There are a few along the roof. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. 
This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Penny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Luke's in no shape to help us. You want to put our fate in that guy's hands, it's not happening. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turd radio, he keeps us posted on the herd's <laughs> movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. Hmm. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. <laughs> what do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know what you're talking about. This is nuts. I've done it too. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me, and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. Mm -hmm. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell'd she come from? Die können sie glatt we just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on. Up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you want to boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. Tja, werden wir es schaffen? Können wir ein Walkie Talkie besorgen? Können wir überhaupt einen Weg daraus finden? Was spielt Luke noch für eine große Rolle? Und ja, wie schon gesagt. Schreibt mir auf jeden Fall in die Comments, wie ihr meine Entscheidung findet, was ihr entschieden hättet, zum Beispiel. Ähm, es würde mich auch echt mal interessieren, wie ihr jetzt zum Beispiel diesen Carver findet, diesen Bill. Ob, wie, wie er bei euch rüberkommt. Ist er wirklich so verrückt? Hilft er den Leuten wirklich? Oder ist es einfach nur ein verfickter Tyrann, der alles dafür setzt, dass wirklich es allen und jeden schlecht geht, nur ihm am besten? Ich meine, so, so eine Riesengruppe braucht zwar eine starke Führung, aber nicht sowas, weil das ist wirklich krankhaft. Aber wie schon gesagt, würde mich echt mal interessieren. Lasst mal auf jeden Fall ein Like und ein Dislike da, wenn Dislike bitte begründen. Und ja, wie schon gesagt, wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal. Wenn ihr wissen wollt, wie es weitergeht, ob wir es wirklich schaffen, ein Funkgerät zu besorgen, ob Luke seine Aufgaben erfüllen kann, ob wir vielleicht einfach nur geschnappt werden und gefoltert, ihr werdet es sehen beim nächsten Part in diesem Sinne. Bis dahin, baut kein Scheißblatt anständig und wir sehen uns. Bis. Done.